Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the last character in the May Melee month-long contest, and it is Ricochet, the future of flight. He is a modern era trickster. Uh, he is chaotic for Boss Breaker. And he is the last piece needed for Dominic. Uh, so at 9k, green moves start with two more move points, and blue moves start with one more move point. Uh, for somebody that hasn't been able to pull Tyler Breeze to save their life, um, a plus two green MP trainer would be very, very welcomed. Links, Smackdown, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern Era, gems do 5% more damage, just the one standard set of gear. So, a couple different builds we're going to take a look at. The first is available at 3 star. It is the finisher with double blue. So, finisher, 10 MP, 3, I know words, 630 centon. Uh, finisher, deal 110,458 damage and choose a 4x4 area to swap into blue gems. Uh, Tornado DDT is blue 1, 7 MP, deal 64,395 damage and make 18 random gems into purple gems. And blue 2, the Jumping Insigiri, 7 MP, deal 81,694 damage and make 30 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to 34,426 health. If broken by you, deal 46,839 damage. So the entourage you're going to run. Lawler for more blue MP to start. Jinder for three more trap gems. Hall of Fame Eddie, I do have him at 17k now, so he'll give us two more purple gems. And then Santa Hogan, just for some more gem damage across the board. If you have Acro Dragon, that would be who I would use instead. And for the belt, we are going full fury, looking for purple gem, blue gem, blue move, purple move substats. This is a quite a nice setup for him, actually. Um, finally got that, that purple percent in fury, which makes me so, so happy. 11.3% uh, blue gem substat there. That's my stuff metal. Um, but she doesn't need it right now. So, And smoke plate, not all that necessary. Whenever you break through more blue gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. More of a fail safe in, safe in case something goes like horribly wrong, but really not needed for this build. So we're going to beat up on Ivar and let's see how we do. That gear looks amazing. That's really nice. Got hot pants. Is that we're gonna call them hot pants? Okay, so two different ways you could go about this. You could use the tornado DDT first to load up the finisher. Or you could put out the trap gems first and then use the tornado DDT and try to break some of them. I'm going to do the former. And that way, when the finisher's loaded, we can put out the trap gems and then try to destroy as many as possible. But making that many purple gems, chances are you're going to pin on turn one. Which is fine if they're not loaded to, to womp you on turn one, and then if you can beat them on turn two. No issue with that. So 33 random trap gems. Is there a nice little 4x4? Four four? Not really, but we'll go here. And we can latch onto those two blue gems. So a reminder, if we break them, we deal extra damage. When he breaks them on his kickout attempt, we will steal some of his health. So he'll damage himself a little bit. Go there. To 1.18 mil. And 
if we needed to steal some health, we would have. But very straightforward um, turn to win. If they kick out, you're loaded and ready to go on the next turn. So that is a three-star build. Let's jump ahead and take a look at a build available at five-star. The five-star build that we're going to take a look at is double yellow with purple three. So yellow one, the rolling lariat five MP. Deal 57,295 damage and make 20 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 21,687 damage and make four random gems into color turn gems. Yellow two, the corkscrew shooting star six MP. That's the four-star move, by the way. Deal 74,947 damage and make 49 color turn gems into purple gems. Uh, the board is 7x7, seven seven, so there's only 49 on the board. You're turning the entire board purple. And purple 3, the King's Landing, 6 MP. Deal 65,965 damage and choose 6 gems to make into yellow gems. So I'm going to run this build a couple different times times and tweak the entourage and belt as I go um, just to see what what we can expect with different levels of um, not different levels but like different options available to you so the first thing I'm going to do is run I'm going to run double MP throughout actually so Kofi for yellow woods for purple that'll get everything ready to go on turn one you'll I'll explain why when the match starts um, we're going to start with Lacey for more purple damage and Santa Hogan just for more gem damage across the board. For the belt, I'm sticking with Full Fury. I've brought in a yellow percent because that yellow 2 move is going to act like a finisher. And uh, no plate. I'm sure you can guess what plate I'm going to try later on. But right now, no plate just to see what it does. So run number one of the five star build. So everything's ready to go. We're going to hit the rolling lariat. Then what we're going to do is use the king's landing. Make ourselves a five match. And we already have a swipe here, so we don't need to make one. I'll just put that there. So that'll trigger this again. And then we'll take our swipe. The wild card is what's going to trigger those countdown gems for us. And then we're going to use the corkscrew shooting star and turn the entire board into purple gems on turn one. No Cascade, 1 million damage on turn 1. We can make that better. We can absolutely make that better. So that's our base, is 1.06 mil. Oh, that's... Alright. Put that in a bow or a knot or something, good god. Um, so 1.06 mil is our base. Now let's add a couple different pieces and see what we can do. So we have taken out Santa Hogan and we brought in Sasha for 15% more damage to the color turns. Math turns out that we will get a slight edge over the flat 1100. So same tactics. Come on. Make a wild card. Give yourself a three match. And you want to go as close to the top of the board as possible. Just to avoid cascades, we all know how those go. 
Um, so 17. Yeah, so now we're doing almost 20k. Turn the entire board purple. With the exception of this one gem, but thankfully it's already purple, so. And this is... 1.13. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's keep upping it and see if we can get more. So next Entourage set, we've taken out Sasha and we brought in Hall of Fame Brett for 50% more color turn damage. Now, this is going to be the, um, the top for our Entourage damage at lower levels, um, a flat gem trainer would be more beneficial than Lacey. Um, so if you have um, Motu Ray or Striker RVD for that flat 2200 uh, Ray for purple, RVD for color turns, that would be the play over Lacey. But at 5 star gold, this 20% is going to be better and then we have the 50% on the color turns from Hall of Fame Brett. So let's see, we are trying to beat 1.13 mil. Now, the lack of yellow gems is a little bit concerning. I don't want to go there. You want to try to keep it to the outside as much as possible, but we don't have that option. Um, what we can do... Let's try that and drop down there. It might not work, but... That... <laughs> we'll just pretend turn two is turn one. All right, we'll just pretend that turn two is turn one. Because we've covered almost the entire board anyways, so. Cork, screw, shooting star, and what are we hitting for? One point three. So we'll pretend that's that's one point three for million damage on turn one. And then let's bring in Let's bring in the neutralizer. Y'all know what I'm gonna bring in. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Run number four, and we have brought in the big boy. And we can stack this at least twice. Maybe three times. So. Go time, girls. Go time. Stack number one. Stack number two. Max tour perks, you don't say. Stack number three. <laughs> I realize it's covering up some of our color turns. But they're doing like 40k. And we've also reduced his gem damage quite a bit, so.
And it came in a little lower with the three stack. So let's let's stick with the two stack and do the entire board. Running this back real quick. That <laughs> man, secure that. All right, let's stick with the two stack and see what we can do turning the entire board purple. I just wanted to see how that would work with three. All right, sticking with two stacks. 17k on the purples. Put one there just in case we get a blue that drops it. Ah, son of a bee. All right, how's this gonna look with a one stack? One point five six. I'm relentless in my pursuit of getting this to stack twice on turn one, so one more time. We can do this, even though there's like no yellows. Son of a! We're just gonna pretend that turn two is turn one. We're just gonna pretend that turn two is turn one. Acceptable. Acceptable. One point seven seven. That was the desired result to have the two stack be the one that hits the hardest. Again, with Hall of Fame Brett. And uh, Lacey and a Z plate. Flawless victory. We're just going to pretend it was flawless. Um, okay. Uh, one more build I want to talk about and not show. So let's go do that. So there's one more build I want to just mention. And it is using purple 2. Uh, the super kick, 5 MP, deal 59,587 damage, and steal up to 5 MP from each of your opponent's blue moves. So that's something you could run alongside the Tornado DDT and the Jumping Insiguri. You would lay the trap gems first and then use the DDT to hopefully hit, um, trigger those traps with the purple gems. Uh, but that would be situational against a double blue opponent. And that concludes the preview of the future of Flight Ricochet. Um, again, he is the fourth piece in Voltron Dom. Uh, green moves at 9k, 2 MP, blue moves start with 1. And yeah, let me know what you think about Mr. Ricochet. Uh, the gear looks nice. The gear looks nice. And you got, even got the little... The little tie at the front that whips around and, you know, 
Because surely to God you wouldn't secure that when you're about to wrestle somebody, but what do I know? Um, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. This is the uh, Feud Leaderboard Chase prize, so let me know if you're going to go for it. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Put it on the, put it on the, put it on the.